Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, I had a great question from somebody. They were asking, uh, can you show us how to right align the social media icons at the top menu bar, secondary menu in Divi? I couldn't find anything. Uh, yeah, by default, they sort of appear on the left here. And for those of you that don't know how to do this, I'll show you in a moment how to activate your secondary bar. Obviously, I'm using the Divi theme here. It just keeps getting better and better with more and more features. If you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. OK, uh, to get the actual secondary nav bar going and your, your social media icons showing, you need to set them up in your options. Now, I'm at the dashboard here going down to Divi we're on the general tab I believe yep general tab and if you scroll down a little bit here's some places where you can put in your your social media profiles they need to lose Google Plus that's no longer with us and I've got another video of somewhere of how you can add more just by editing the PHP of these but put your URLs to your social media in there and then they will appear by default on the left hand side of your secondary menu here and in your customizer customizer is dashboard again Divi theme customizer I've already got mine open here you can select where you want to put menu you can put a menu up there if you want to assign it a menu I'm not going to assign it a menu I've just got a number telephone email and social icons there if you don't want your telephone and social icons there let's go up to header elements header and navigation, header elements, and you can say don't show your social icons or do, and this is where you put in your phone number or your email, or and your email if that's where you want it. So let's go about floating all this over to the right hand side. There's nothing built in to do this like there is perhaps with this, the primary menu bar, but it's pretty easy for a bit, with a bit of custom CSS, and don't let the custom CSS part um, put you off it's really easy and I'll put any code I write today down below so let's first inspect I'm using Google Chrome browser here I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down to inspect this to bring up the browser tools to see what the elements actually called okay okay we've got the page container that's the whole thing we got the top header that's that whole primary uh, secondary nav bar right there got that container clear fix which is the space that it's taking up there now if I go down one more there's ET info that's the one that I'm going to tell to float right so let's have a look see we've got ET info float left down the bottom here so we've got to overwrite that float left and tell it to float right and as you can see it's jumped over the right side easy as that now we've got to make this permanent so to do that we've got to actually write it into our CSS so I'm going to copy this all the way from the hashtag to the closing curly bracket there control C to copy then in our customizer or in your uh, theme options custom CSS box down at the bottom it's the same place basically but I'm using the customizer here if we go down to the bottom of the customizer you'll see the additional CSS tab left click on that it'll open up and you can put in some additional CSS here and from experience this doesn't get overwritten when the theme updates so you don't have to worry about child themes and that so far it's been absolutely rock solid which is fantastic so I'm going to put a comment here forward slash star star forward slash in between we'll put social media float I suppose and just below there just go down and paste what we've just copied from our browser here which is that right there okay let's refresh this and make sure it's going to stay there great fantastic so that worked one thing you want to bear in mind is if you don't have your number and your email up there that e that class that we just used will not be there ET info class let's have a look let's just close this up a moment the ET info class I'll put this down below let's go back in and take away the um, 
telephone and email address. So I'm going to go to header and navigation, header elements. Let's simply delete that from here. Let's publish that. Now let's refresh. And ours is staying there, which is good. But if we inspect it now, there's a secondary menu. There's no actual ET class that we used before. So if you haven't got up there, you may have to go in there and actually use a secondary menu. If you haven't got a menu assigned, you can go in there and, and or we can float it back the other way. And that'll pop it the other way. That's if you want to do that. So just bear that in mind. If you haven't got your email and your number in there, use that one. That should make it a little easier for you. So there you have it. There's how to float your social icons to the right hand side of the page. Let's refresh this, make sure it's going to go back there. Fantastic. That stayed on the right hand side there. That's great. Just remember then, if, if you haven't got your email and phone number in there, that may not work and you'll have to use that secondary menu one instead. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.